Hello everyone, my name is Amma and welcome to my first look review on Raven Sword Undaunted. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically going to play half an hour to an hour of this, see what it's like, uh, and then review it off what I've seen, uh, because I'm recording this on, t uh, I'm also streaming this, not just recording. I will play a lot more than what you're going to see, so link down below for Twitch. Uh, anyway, so the Steam summary is... Raven Sword Undaunted is a first-person um, dungeon crawler inspired by Hexen and Heretic, uh, set within the Raven Sword universe. So I don't know any of this. I don't know about anything about the Raven Sword universe. Um, I don't know. I don't think I know Hexen or Heretic. Um, so yeah, it, it is eleven dollars fifty on Steam. But if you're in Twitch, um, it is fifteen percent off uh, right now. So that's another reason why you should jump on Twitch and watch me live. Uh, it's released date was on the 9th of July. Developer is Trimant Trimatra Interactive. Publisher is Crescent Moon Games. So let's get into it, see what it's all about. Okay, there's no running, there's a dash. And I got four of them and I just used to... <laughs> okay, they'll come back. Cool. Uh, okay, so what do I... Is this just the hub world? I think it is. I really do like the look of it. I mean, that's why I requested it, because it looked really cool. Plus you're fighting the undead or whatever, and I find that really cool. Okay. Um, oh, okay, so there's only three out of six. Normal difficulty... Alright, so I'll probably check out one or two of these, depending on how long they go for. Um, and yeah, potentially review it off that. Uh, right, yeah, I do have stuffs. Okay. <whistles> Dang, that's an intricate design. Uh, so if I tab that, right, okay. Uh, and the stats, right, so I want, I'm just gonna, you can only modify your attributes when you return to your height. Oh, fuck you. I was just at the height. Damn it! <laughs> okay. To the abyss. That that's actually terrifying. Not gonna lie. I'll pull out this. I mean, it hit him. Ooh, that got a headshot. I think. Ooh. Boom! He dead! I do love the mana blocks. They do actually look really nice. Everything about this game looks really nice, actually. I'm getting a good amount of the minor blocks as well, so I don't actually need to use the sword just yet. It could be a good or bad thing. I don't know any point in actually coming up here. I don't know if there's full damage. I'm not going to test it. You didn't drop anything. Okay. The hand is really creepy. Okay, automatically. Oh, ow. Wait, what? Oh, it's one. F fudge, okay. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, insufficient mana. Yeah, okay. Aha! Oh, I'm level three, apparently. Oh, haha! Yeah, fight me! Come at me, bro! Poison thing, so does that bit of damage. <laughs> oh, they can melee, okay. Trying to kick me? I saw that. Okay, so... How do I know... How much it's worn though? I think I'm guessing that goes up higher. Two switches remaining, sure. I don't know what they go to, but yeah, sure. Ooh, nice water. Did my sword run out of That's going to be a sneaky... Oh, hi, guys. I don't want to fall. I don't know what the... Um... Two more things. I see one there which I think I know how to get to. 
but again, I'm pretty sure there are three of them. I've only got on one so far. Unless... Last switch is remaining, yeah. I thought it was down there, I was like, what the fuck? Um... I think, I think it's over here. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't jump. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, path cleared. Oh cool, sure, sure thing. Sure thing. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay, that freaks me out. I hate platformers. <laughs> okay. Onwards. I, I do very much like this game, so... It's a shame that there's only three levels so far. Um, I mean, who knows how long they actually are. Oh, he actually got me. He's just sitting there. Hey, bud. Nice life. Ooh, there's no water sound effect. That's that's bad. This is the end. it is. Completed. Yeah, 10 minutes exactly apparently. 76 things killed. Cool. I'll return to hide out, uh, upgrade my stuff. Uh, I've only been playing for, well, I mean that was 10 minutes so I may as well do another level and see, um, oh excuse me, see what I need to do. So I didn't need to ever use a health potion. Which I'm pretty sure I have no idea how to do that anyway. I've got a bunch of points, so I may as well just upgrade these. I'll put two into these, that just just for the sake of it. Um, but that will do that. Um, and the max stamina has also gone up, which I haven't actually used yet. I like the fighting um, so far, um, especially with the the different weapons so far. Um, yeah, so if we get a merchant, I sh can sell off them for one each. I've got three of the same stuff. Um, that's sublime. Okay. I could sell that off. Yeah, because that looks like it's it's almost gone. Because, I mean, that's 80. So, yeah, may as well. Plus, it's got the same bloody one anyway. Um, okay, uh, cleanse? Okay, so I can get things back. Didn't know that, but who cares? I'm going to buy something anyway. Uh, Sublime Desert Bite. What is this? Frostbite, nice. They look cool, but I can't buy them. I can't buy any of them, I can only get these. Okay, I think my voice just cracked. So I'm gonna buy this. And I can't buy anything else, so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, um, yeah, I've got plenty of time to do one more, so... 
Blackwood Keep. It only takes like 10-ish minutes to basically beat each one of these. And this is on normal, so it'll probably take a little bit longer for hard. But also, it's probably just... It's, it's, it's the same level, which is the same length. It's just... Um, fuck am I saying? <laughs> it's just harder, so difficulty. You need, to be, you need to be running around a lot more and whatnot. There they are. This is a good one, holy shit. I'll check this one out now. Um, oh my god, I... Oh, you're fucking kidding me, I picked it up anyway. Jesus, that, that, that kind of annoys me, because it's like, oh, you can buy this top tier item, or you can just find it in the next bloody level, instantly. That's so stupid. Ah, oh, my ears. Okay, it's a slightly faster flame, okay. Can you blow up, please? Thank you. Definitely using this. If it runs out, then I got another one. Ah, the floating head thingy. That is totally just the thing from Doom. It totally is, isn't it? Is it the same model? Question. I need to keep on my eye on my health. Oh, maybe not. So I just leveled up. Big fight. Maybe? No? 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 Stay in the circle. charged up. Alright.
That was the end, I didn't realize. Got oh, that massive crystal's there. Is that it? That just seemed like a weird end. I didn't kill one of the enemies, apparently. Okay. But yes, early access. I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, that's easy enough um, to talk on or whatever. Um, I don't really need to do anything there. Um, yeah, so they easily got harder as they went along. Um, so yeah, all right. I need, okay, um, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so, this was a great game. I really enjoyed this. Um, so this is the early access of it. Um, and so there's only three levels, so I don't know how much I've shown in the actual video, but obviously if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, then you've probably seen the full almost hour of just all three of the, the maps, which are basically about 10 minutes each. I think the last one took about 15 minutes. Um, so yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I I do really like it. So the look of the game is fantastic. Um, just the, um, especially just you just looking around this area. I just like this just environment in a way. Just the the ruin, the kind of sadness with the the, the weather. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about the story at all. Um, I feel like that should be added in to why you're going to each of the places, um, and fighting all of these undead. Um, the enemy types are good as well. I think there's, I think there's about five of them. So normal skeleton so soldier, archer, explosive guy, rat, um, and floating head. Um, so they're it's it, it's a good it's a decent amount of enemies um, plus so you've got the, the three levels so far there are apparently three more which I think could easily be even more than that potentially but I mean it's only like a $11.50 game or whatever it is in um, that is other than a AU um, so yeah and then there's a hard mode as well um, but they all looked great um, the weapons were all great as well. They were all interesting. Uh, I think I got to test out all of the um, the staffs. Uh, not all of the melee weapons, but I mean they're all pretty much going to be the same. Um, and yeah, there's a there's a nice variety of them as well, plus different ones that different um, damage rates and all that kind of stuff. Um, plus there's the shop. Um, there's the stats as well, which I did quite like. Every time you leveled up, you gained it, like, all, like, everything, back health and all that kind of stuff. So if you're in a pickle, like, if you're just swarmed by enemies, you manage to kill one, and you, you get, uh, you level up, then you get everything back, which was great. Uh, I very much enjoyed the, um, the mage thing. I normally like mage stuff in games, because magic is normally cool. Um, and I pretty much just used that until I actually ran out and didn't level up. Um, the, the shift and the jolting, uh, the dashing, it was good. Um, I didn't really use it until, like, I actually needed to. Um, but yeah, as you can see down below, you can use a lot. You get a lot of stamina and whatnot. Um, plus I guess you can actually see the, um... Yeah, how much each? Okay, so each um, you can actually see the uh, the wear um, go up in the little um, square of the um, the weapon. Uh, I didn't realize that. Um, I don't think you can get 
health potions during the game, but I think you get a specific amount depending on how much you push up the stats, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I started off with 6 and now I have 10. Um, the mana thing is interesting how the heavy and normal are different. I like that. Uh, merchant, I think, after a I mean, after the first level, I think, maybe when you go to the third level, it just has this, which I feel like every time you get here, there should be something completely different. Uh, but it, again, is only early access, there's only three of them. Uh, and obviously, if you like something, if you like a specific weapon enough, which I'm guessing the Sublime is the best one, um, you can easily just cleanse it. Um, you can sell the weapons and buy them, so I think it's a pretty good system all up. Um, the sound design I think is also good. Uh, the challenges as well were, yeah, they were good. They're like the, especially the arenas that it uh, forced you to be in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I really like this and I can't wait for um, the next few levels to come out and potentially even more later on. Um, I just think there should be a little bit more story. I don't really know anything about the Raven Sword universe. I guess I need to look that one up. Uh, but I did find this enjoyable and I'm pretty sure it's pretty cheap. So yeah, it's close, close to 10 bucks for the rest of the world. Um, for us it's just a little bit over. So yeah. I think this is definitely one that's worth it, um, and I don't really think I need to say anything else about it. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. So, um, I'll go to the main menu. Uh, yeah, so that was Raven Sword Undaunted. Uh, so people on Twitch, if uh, you liked what you just saw, um, check it out on Steam. It is unfortunately I don't have a link for it because I didn't set up my stream properly, yay! Um, but you get a 15% off um, if you're interested. People on YouTube watching this as the video later on. Um, yeah, go and check it out for yourself. If you like it, there will be a link down below. So, yeah, people on Twitch, stick around. There are more games to be played. Uh, people on YouTube, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Uh, and, yeah, I'll see you all in another one. Bye-bye.